Rock 108. Hey, it's Ned hanging out in studio today. We have a big show coming to the U.S. Cellular Center in Cedar Rapids. That is on May 9th, and we're talking In This Moment, Palais Royale and Bisto Blanco. And gee, I don't know, another band on there that you might have heard of uh, called Hailstorm. And I have guitarist Joe from Hailstorm on the phone with me. How's it going, dude? Hello. <laughs> good, to, good to hear from you. Yeah, absolutely, man. to get over there, man. Oh, dude, it, it's going to be a blast. Like the heart of, I was the heart of rock and roll in America, and, you know, that, that show is going to be a special one for us. And that's the cool thing. You know, I, I actually moved uh, to Iowa a bunch of years back from Michigan, and, uh, you know, it, it's interesting to see when I came here to Iowa, and so many people were telling me, like, oh, what's in Iowa? I'm like, dude, once you live there, you don't even know, man. There's a lot happening in Iowa that you just need to find out yourself. <laughs> no, totally. That's uh I mean from our perspective playing coming through there playing rock shows it is since our first show in there was the beginning of 2006. Yeah. Don't do the math, but like I remember we we broke a local record for CD sales, so like 500 CDs. We were the first band of four that night and people were just so cool and so awesome and embraced us and I mean, I think it was, I I blame Iowa for us keeping our record deal and getting the first album out when it <laughs> came out because you guys bought so many CDs that the label was like, they were dropping everybody. It was at the like peak of the decline of the music industry. And, mm. and uh, we figured we were going to be on the chopping block because we hadn't even put out a record yet. And, right. And then I swear to God, they looked at like what happened in Iowa and we're like, all right, let's keep these on and these guys, these guys on and see what happens. <laughs> and here we are 10 years later. And I, I, I blame Iowa. So you can officially say that Iowa is the reason Hailstorm exists today. We would still we'd still be playing shows, but you know, a label does not a band make. But right. a, label, a label, there are there are partners in crime here, you know. Oh but, yeah, uh, absolutely, yeah. man. Well, what's what's our, cool? Our, our problem is we love playing music, and we're just going to do this whether people are listening or not. And thank God people listen. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. And anytime, what's cool too is that. Because you guys have such a unique sound and everything, and anytime we play a hailstorm song here on Rock 108, people are like, "Yep, hailstorm, we're, hang- we're we're loving it, we're hanging on to it." And we're starting to play vicious now, and people are like, "Ooh, yeah, vicious! Oh, this cool. is my jam Thank now." Thank you. Yeah, absolutely, man. That's, that's awesome. Now you guys have been touring for years and years now, and it's been an absolute blast to see, because I've been in radio. I want to say around shoot 2007 when you guys kind of were starting off a little bit around that time, and I remember seeing you guys play a free show. It was like a Bud Light bash all the way back in Grand Rapids, Michigan. I don't remember what it was, but I just looked at you guys. I'm like, yeah, they're going to be around for a while. Oh, thanks. I remember that. That was with Chevelle. That was an Orbit Room. Yeah, yeah, man. Absolutely. You why, remember that. So why do cool. I remember that stuff? <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's so many venues you guys play, but yet you still remember that time when you played with Chevelle years and years ago. Sometimes I remember things, right? And that's, you know, that was one of them. That's awesome. Yeah, absolutely, man. Well, you yeah, have the big tour coming up May 9th, U.S. Cellular Center with In This Moment, uh, Biso Blanco, and uh, uh, Palais Royale. And, you know, obviously with Lizzie and Maria and uh, Biso Blanco, too, with the lead singer being the. Uh, daughter of alice cooper from what i found out is there any possibilities of yeah. some kind of on-stage collaboration between you three um you know we're we're not scared we 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 uh we just go a little nuts you know and we, mm. we're down for whatever our our show is a pure rock and roll show we don't have any computers or click track so if anybody wants to just hop in and do something we're we're, we're ready <laughs> are you saying that's an so invite, i don't know man? You know, we, 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 i'll jump on stage with you if you want i mean it's fine i mean Come on! All right, I bring the cowbell out. <laughs> yes, I got I got the cowbell. I can make that happen, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Well, yeah, and uh, aside from music and whatnot, are you uh, are you a movie goer? Are you a video game player? Are you a book reader? Are you any of those? You know, on like days off on the road, uh, Lizzie usually goes with me now too. Uh, we're we're like into fishing, so we we'll, we try to go fishing as much as we can. Really? Um, we bring some rods with us and. You know, I try to like plan ahead once I see the itinerary and call ahead and see if there's any local lakes or rivers or something and get a guide or just go over there and do it myself. And um, that's that's our thing. And uh, I did just get into some video games. We just we just did some shows in Australia, New Zealand, and mm-hmm. Japan. And I think it was like three or four twelve plus hour flights. Wow, which is just brutal on your butt. But uh, <laughs> yeah, but I did get a Nintendo Switch for the flights and. <sighs> I played, I had so much, I'm not much of a gamer, I never have been, but mm-hmm. I played so much of that Zelda 
game, that Breath of the Wild. Oh, dude, it so blew good. my mind. It was so much fun. Yeah. I mean, there's so much to explore. And what's cool about, I mean, we could sit here and talk about games all day, honestly, but what's cool about the Switch and, I guess, Zelda Breath of the Wild, too, is that it's just a pick-up-and-play type of thing. Like, you can just put it down and just set it aside. It's like, oh, I got something to do. Put it down, set it aside. It's it's not something you have to invest a billion hours into at one time, and that's what I love about that game console. Yeah, it's, it's I don't know, it's just fun. We're, I'm trying to convince everybody in the crew. There's a few crew guys that have one, and we were on the plane, and you can kind of connect them together. Yeah. And, like, one of our guitar techs is on the other side of the plane, and we were racing each other in Mario Kart. And <laughs> we were going, I was like, this is awesome. Like, technology rules. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is what we have been waiting for all this time. <laughs> <laughs> the whole time. Yeah, man, absolutely. Now, you, you said you're a big fisher fisherman when you're going out and doing so. What's the biggest uh, fish you've ever caught? Do you know? Oh, uh, man, I I don't. I don't know. There. <laughs> I traditionally like go for bass, and I actually got probably the biggest bass I've caught. I, I was at a venue in Oregon, mm-hmm. this amphitheater we headlined last year in yeah. the middle of the summer, and there was like a little pond lake out back. And I thought I just pulled my rod out, and I pulled this huge bass out of there, and I was like, oh my God, it was awesome. It was so much fun. <laughs> but um, we just went fishing in New Zealand. We went off the West Coast Whoa, into cool. like 90, 100 feet of water. Our yeah. buddy in the band down there, and him and his dad took us out in their boat and we were catching snapper and kawaii and these, uh gunard i think they're called these really cool looking fish mm-hmm. there's like sharks swimming around it was a trip that um, is a trip it's more, man. it's more about that you know the experience of the water and the just being out in the middle of it all is what i love that's i think you know I, i'm not much of a fisher person but i love the fact of going out and like you said just kind of sitting there relaxing even if you get nothing all day it's just like that moment of just like hanging out joking around whatever it may be just it's it's a weird relaxing kind of zen situation yeah and and like especially with bass fishing it's it's a puzzle you know you every day is a different like the puzzle gets scrambled again depending yeah. on the conditions the water temperature the the weather and all these things go into like you got to like put the puzzle all right what are they going to bite on today and what's the color going to be and where are they going to be hanging out and and you just you know it's like it's like not a video game it's like a real life game like where are these yeah bastards <laughs> let's, let's find them well, you know it would be the best combination if you were to get a fishing video game i feel like that would be like the perfect thing for you <laughs> I just gotta exist. I don't even know. Oh, they exist, man. Oh, they exist. <laughs> well, when you guys are in town next time, I will gladly uh, bring you to a fishing hole, and then we could have a video show called "Fishing with Hailstorm." I don't know. It'll be some weird <laughs> idea we come up we'll with. We'll take a video game out on the boat <laughs> and uh, play video games on a boat. That's It'll a perfect. Di- that's like my heaven, that. dude. That's all I need. <laughs> That's awesome. Was there anything, uh, I mean, obviously we don't have much time here before the big show coming up. Is there anything you guys want the fans to know going on? Any, obviously you guys are promoting Vicious right now. The big two are going to be happening very soon. And I know you guys are, you guys are playing some of the big uh, rock festivals this year, if I'm correct, or am, or correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, no, we're doing the new, what used to be Rock on the Range, we're doing Sonic Temple um, now in Columbus, Ohio. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's our one spring U.S. festival, but that's our last show on this tour. It's with, we're playing with Ghost and System of a Down, which totally rules. That is so cool, like, man. I'm such a huge fan of both of those bands. Yeah. Um, and then uh, we're home for like a week or two, and then we head to Europe and play all the big festivals over there, which is going to be a trip. We have. I know we're doing these two German festivals with Tool and uh, Alice in Chains and Smashing Pumpkins, and um, uh, there's a bunch of other bands like on the same day as we are, and like, how cool is that? That's so um, nuts, man. We're doing a, a, like Copenhagen and Copenhagen with Tool and STP. Like you know, I'm I'm just gonna be a kid in a candy shop over there, so. It's going to be a fun year for Old Hailstorm. What's so neat, too, is that, you know, and since I've been a fan of you guys for so long, seeing you, like, in the mid-2000s to where you're at now, and a couple, another band, I know Pop Evil, you probably know of those guys, they are touring yeah. Australia for the first time, and Lee posted up on his Instagram saying, he's like, I never thought that I would get to this point in my career where I'd be touring in Australia. It's something I've always wanted to do. And I feel like maybe the same way for you guys when you're touring across all these different nations, seeing and fishing in New Zealand even. I mean, it's got to be a blast to think about the fact of where you were to where you're at now. It's a trip, man. We're we're, we're kind of putting – it's the 10-year anniversary of our first record, and we're kind of putting together 
a special package oh. for that first album right now. And we're going through, we just, Lizzie and I just went through all of these demos that we made from like 2005 to 2008 while we were making that first record. Mm-hmm. And I had forgotten all about them. Like these, it's like hearing these songs for the first time again. And, and they weren't terrible. You know, there's a reason <laughs> they didn't make the first record, but they, you know, the, the, the thing was there, the magic was there that like, that we fight for even today, you know, and yeah. kind of realize that we're just doing, we're doing what we've always done. We're still, you know, we're lucky, man. We, I, I get to do what I love with the people I love and travel the world doing it. Like what more could you ask for in a life? And, uh, and we're, we're, that's what we were doing back when we were just playing bars, you know, yeah. around Pennsylvania, just doing what we love with the people we love. And it was on a much smaller scale, but, but what a trip, man, from there to like, like you said, we're doing the whole world. I think we're going around the world twice this year. That's so we cool. end in Australia, Japan again before the end of the year. And uh, it's awesome. It's tiring, but awesome. Yeah, very, very tiring. And that's why the fishing is there. So that way you can kind of zen out for a little bit and just enjoy your time oh, on the river. <laughs> now, I, I'm oh. kind of curious. You briefly mentioned uh, this this package that you're coming up with, like kind of a, like a remaster or something like that of a, your first album. Do you have any other details on that whatsoever? No, we're putting it together. I don't really know. We don't know what exactly we're doing, but we're putting something together and kind of formulating it right now. So, you know, it's not really whatever. I yeah. probably shouldn't even be talking about it, but uh, <laughs> it's, you know, it's fun and it's, you know, it's a trip how far we have come and and where we were at just 10, 12 years ago. It's, yeah, man. It's fun. 10 years. What the hell was I doing 10 years ago? I don't even, I can't even think about it. <laughs> I guess listening to the first Hailstorm album. I mean, I guess that's probably what I was doing. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah. Right? I, was, I was doing the same exact thing I'm doing now. It's, it's literally, like, we haven't changed. We're, I think I think when you join a band, your mm-hmm. your um, maturity, like, hits just stalls out. And we, we still have the same stupid jokes and we still laugh at farts and we're just a bunch of numbskulls and it, I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> it's like a family at that point, man, you know? Yeah. Absolutely. That's so cool, Joe. Man, that's so awesome. Thank you so much for hanging out, man. And uh, is there anything you want the fans to know real quick before we uh, call it a day with you? Well, man, we hope we see you there in Cedar Rapids. Where it's it's going to be a great show. We toured all last year within this moment. And they're, I think they're going to have like new music probably. And I know they have a whole new stage show. And Ooh. they're such a – man, they're so cool live. you got to see it to believe it. I'm sure most of you have seen it. They're, it's so creative and so awesome and theatrical and – beautiful and heavy you know and, oh yeah and then you have Biso blanco with with some of the alice cooper folks alice's daughter calico and they're a trip too you've never seen anything like that and the play boys are jersey like rock and rollers you know it's, it's just going to be a good wide array of rock and roll in cedar rapids and i hope you know hope to see everyone there Hell yeah, man. I can't wait to see you now. We'll, we'll have the meet and greet stuff, all that good fun happening, so I'll be sure to see you there as well. Awesome. Thank all right. you so much, Ned. Thanks, Joe, man. We'll uh, see you on May 9th in Cedar Rapids, dude, and go enjoy some fishing. <laughs> Will do, man. Have a good one. <laughs> see you, man. Later.